That'll ruin your name. some duck manure tonight and uh, try and do one maybe two loads we'll see how it goes and uh, just a nice beautiful evening there's a bunch of RVs and uh, so we got done boss man's finishing up milking all the chores are done it's about eight o'clock I tried calling the landowner and I think he's got Bible study tonight. I hope his truck's out of the way because if it's if it's in the way, he's got one of these driveways that uh, well, it's hard to get into because um, he parks the truck and the trailer on the way into the field. So if not, we'll just cover one of our own hay fields tonight, and maybe tomorrow. I don't know when it's supposed to rain, but maybe tomorrow we can go ahead and put a load on his, and then we'll be. Just got a couple of more loads of manure to haul. And uh, then we'll be ready to go for plant. It's getting pretty warm out here. Uh, looking at 60s and 40s in the next week. So I bet within a couple weeks here we'll be able to we'll be able to rock and roll and get some plant going. So some loading action going on here. We've never actually put all dry manure in this spreader, so this will be a... This will be an experiment. pretty good chunk out of there. Stuff gets pretty warm. It's only been out. I think he pushed us out probably a month ago or so. quarters full but not quite one to see how she do well side shield popped open looks like well, anyway 
This is what that duck manure looks like. This is mostly bedding. At least the dry stuff is. The liquid stuff's really good. And uh, I like to put it on hay fields. Uh, it doesn't have a crazy amount of nitrogen to it, but a lot of phosphorus and potassium. And uh, the other year, two years ago, I put a bunch on some fields and, and uh, some hay fields, and it really took off. I know we were looking at maybe... You know, we had a field that uh, half, like it was like one acre, two acres first cutting, you'd get three or four bales, and we got 10 bales. We had a three acre field that it'd give you 15 rounds, um, and it ended up doing like 40. So stuff works out pretty good. So uh, anyways, we got that door fixed that I showed you at the beginning. Bill, this is my, my neighbor, Earl, here. He's, uh, he uh, had this door um from the uh, previous owner and uh, he had asked me uh, about a couple years back if we needed a a door for a bobcat and we didn't have we had our old bobcat uh which was it was a 773 but it was just a 97 it wasn't a, this one's an 01 or an 02 i think and uh, i didn't have the cab on it so i didn't worry about it and the other day uh when that door broke it like i said it was just sitting there and I left it, and then I came back to it, and it was all cracked anyway. So I called Earl, and, and he told me I'd just go take it, and it was the same door. Came off a, I think the Amish guy had an S185, but I've been told these 773 turbos are the same thing. So, so that worked out pretty good. It saved us 100, 200 bucks. So, but anyways, we'll just uh, catch you in the next one, I guess. We'll